Welcome to Making a Railroad Video. In this video, I'm going to show you the tools that I use to make quality YouTube videos. With YouTube, you can post videos of almost any quality, but when I first started posting railroad videos a couple of years ago, I was immediately attracted to the high quality videos made by such users as CSX 6900, Delay and Block Productions, and Distant Signal. The most obvious tool needed is a camcorder. Today's camcorders are of such high quality that almost any camcorder will produce high definition video. Even smartphones now shoot 4K video. I currently use two Panasonic 4K camcorders. Another essential tool for shooting quality video is a tripod. I know a lot of people handhold their cameras or phones when they shoot railroad video, but it always looks amateurish. If you want to produce a high quality product, a tripod is essential. Another very useful tool, depending on where you are working, is a handheld scanner. I live in Bernalillo, New Mexico, which is on the line that goes from Albuquerque to Raton, New Mexico. There is very little freight traffic on this line, and most of what passes through here are New Mexico rail runner trains that serve the route from Belen to Santa Fe, New Mexico, and Amtrak, which runs two trains through here every day. Scanners can also hear defect detectors. Defect detectors are placed along the tracks to analyze the train as it passes over or through it. After the train passes, an automated broadcast is made informing the crew of any defects that may have detected. Depending on the detector, it will broadcast the train speed, number of axles, or other useful information. BNSF detector, milepost 94.3. No defects. Repeat, no defects. Total axle 17 out. Signals can also be a very useful tool in identifying whether or not there are trains in the block or approaching the block. The signals go from red to approach to approach medium to green as a train leaves the blocks. However, the red signal on main two means that another train is approaching from the north. Another useful tool is a website called asm.transitdocs.com. That link will be in the description below. This is a nationwide Amtrak tracker that gives location, speed, and timeliness of Amtrak and Canadian VIA trains. It is fairly reliable, but like all things Amtrak, it has its moments when it is down. It also lags real time so that you have to take into account that these trains are often 10 miles further along than is displayed on the map. Another tool that I use is the Amtrak app on my iPhone, which will tell you when a specific Amtrak train is due to arrive at a station or if it has already departed. Again, it is not 100% reliable, but combined with other tools, you can get a good idea of where an Amtrak train is. ATCS Monitor is a program offered through Yahoo Groups where you can download software for a specific division and it will provide you with a dispatcher display. Once you learn how to use it, you watch the progress of trains along the line. I have used this extensively in Washington State, especially on the Bellingham and Scenic subdivisions, to let me know where trains are. There are several useful webcams that I also use to help me decide if an Amtrak train is worth going trackside to video. Private cars, heritage locomotives, or unusual concepts are things that I'm particularly interested in. Virtual rail fan has a live feed at La Plata, Missouri, where I can see Amtrak 3 on the day before it passes through New Mexico. Early in the morning around 5.30 a.m., Amtrak 4 passes through Flagstaff, Arizona, and can be seen on the Flagstaff webcam. This webcam is mounted on the train station roof. It is notoriously unreliable, times out after a short time, and can be controlled by other users. Virtual Railfan also has a Flagstaff cam installed, and that is expected to become active very soon. 
This does require a paid membership. In this video, we're going to track the Lamy Local, which goes from Albuquerque, New Mexico to Rosario, New Mexico, where they will set out full asphalt cars and pick up empties, returning them to Albuquerque. This train normally leaves Albuquerque around 8 a.m. on Sunday morning. They often stop at a General Mills plant north of Albuquerque before proceeding north to Rosario. The train returns through Bernalillo, New Mexico around 12 noon. Since it's later in the day and the light is better for shooting from the west side of the tracks in Bernalillo, we plan on catching the return trip to Bernalillo. The locomotive that we're following is BNSF 1616, and when I hear that he is finished with his work at Rosario and returning to Albuquerque, I head out to the tracks. Are you needing the sign to run around over? Okay, BNSF 1616, I'm sorry, main track team. DC Madrid, CB East Domingo for Westbound Movement over. This lets me know that the train is close by, and sure enough, a few moments later, a short freight train rounds the corner and heads south on a dusty cloud towards Albuquerque. In this case, I've set up a camera to see him approaching and a zoomed in shot to see him proceeding. The next weekend I hear on the scanner that the same engine is coming back to Albuquerque from Rosario. I also know that Amtrak 4 is due to leave Albuquerque momentarily, so the possibility of meat is pretty good this time. This time I go to the Bernalillo downtown station and set up on the north end of the platform. One camera is zoomed in for a long approach shot and the other is further from the tracks for a wider angle view. Sure enough, BNSF 1616 rounds the curve and goes onto the siding. This means that he will meet Amtrak 4. Amtrak warrant 1025-1025, 2 Amtrak 205 AMTK 205 ECSD. Got a box 2 TWO, proceed from restricting Southern Kirk to control point on, I mean 1 OME, 1 box 1 2. Track 1, 1025-AM track 205 east is located at 1202.202, KKU. At ease, correct. Let me know when you're ready for your second one. Okay, this will be track 1, 1026-1026, 2 AM track 205-AM TK 205 ECSD. Get a box 2, TWO, proceed from control point dread, to mall post 836.2.836.2. Track 1, 1026 This isn't a great location to document the meet, so I moved the camera to the south end of the platform so that I could see Amtrak 4 approaching and BNSF 1616 moving south from the siding before taking the main line.
talk about the process I go through editing a video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel.